Sede de los testigos de que va en Dinamarca Busquen en Google Map In this video, posted by Mr. Jacob Van Heerden. Something is looming over the group through the door, and then, in the blink of an eye, it's gone. The apparition does seem a little weird. But what do you guys think? Real or fake? Let us know. Horrifying captures of a skinwalker caught lurking around camping site.
Then you love when you see videos online where something terrible is about to happen, but everyone around just seems to be more worried about capturing it on camera. Take a look at this one. It might make your blood boil. You just like a fish, buddy. Lord! Y'all, hey, somebody gotta check on their peoples, boy! Shorty! Shorty! Call 911, Lord! Yeah, Oh, oh, shit. Hey, somebody, come on, let's have a Lord. Let's have a Lord. Let's have him. Let's have him. Hey, 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 hey. No, hey, I'm not fucking this stuff up. Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, on the real. Lord, you don't hurt yourself, T. Hey, Joe. This shit ain't funny, Lord O'Neill. You funny, Lord O'Neill. This dude was having some sort of hissy fit, maybe a seizure, or perhaps he took way more than he can handle the night before, if you know what I mean. But, boy, did he look possessed. Maybe a demon was taking over, yet people around him seemed to ignore the fact that he was about to smash his face against the cement and just kept on filming. It took them a while to save the guy from himself. Hello? A darle. Vente ahí. A mi esposa. La neta de allá, mami, yo soy bien culo, la neta. Ya ni quisiera... ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Hay alguien ahí? No oh, mames, no mames. ¿Ya viste, ya viste, hija? ¿Ya viste, ya viste, hija? ¿Hay alguien ahí? Espérate. Espérate, hija. ¡Ey! ¡Ay, cabrón! Lupita, hasta para allá, Lupita. Pues tú hace para que entiende. Pues no hay alguien aquí, hija. 
¡Ay, cabrón! Yo creo que sí lo voy a meter. Uh. Uh. Cerrar con seguro. Las llaves, las llaves, las llaves, las llaves, las llaves. Mira en la casa. Ante. Puta madre, puta madre, no, 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 no. Absolutamente nadie. Wow, yo por eso no lo quería hacer. No se ve nadie. Espera, 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 espera. espera. Number one is correct. The next case was uploaded to Reddit by username Collins. The post contains quite a long description, so I'll try to keep it as short as possible. It all started in December 2018, when we gave our daughter a doll for Christmas. She looked normal, an ordinary plastic baby doll. We couldn't find the doll that she wanted, but we both had a similar one that was used before. For the first two weeks after Christmas, everything was fine. Not long after that, our daughter started messing up all the other toys, taking them and smashing them against different things in the house. She had never done this before and it annoyed us, but we treated it as strange behavior of a small child. After a while, she started coming to us at night, around age 2 or 3, saying she wanted to sleep with us. After a few weeks, she admitted it was because a little girl was waking her up every night. Sometime later, she started talking about a man coming into her room and that he wanted to take her to heaven. At this point, we started asking questions. It turned out that the girl always wakes her up at night because she wants to play and tells her to do bad things because this is the only way my daughter can become a bad girl. The man, on the other hand, turned out to be the doll's creator. She told us of strange dreams in which her new boyfriend and the man tried to take her to heaven, but when she said she didn't like it, she woke up with a stomach ache. One day my husband was playing with my daughter in her room and wanted to move the doll to another place. My daughter immediately yelled for him not to touch it because it will be bad. Of course he said that nothing will happen because it was just a doll, but the daughter said that she is the one who always tells her to be naughty and that she has to obey. Neither my husband nor I believed in such things, but we decided to get rid of the doll just in case. We took it out of the house to our parents' property and threw it in the local dumpster. For a while, everything got back to normal, but not long after that, our daughter began to tell us that her room was haunted and at night she could see a lady outside the window. As a last resort, we then moved her room to another part of the house and only then did everything stop. Nothing has happened since then. It was the weirdest three months of our lives. 
Forgive me for talking so long, but all this was important for you to understand the uploaded video. In the story, we can locate it in the moment when the girl's parents got rid of the doll and she started to see a strange and creepy woman looking into her room. In such cases with children, especially cases like this one, there is something about them that makes us think there has to be something to it. After all, how could a four-year-old child who only watches cartoons introduce his parents to elements of typical horror film about haunting or possession? Besides, the idea of haunted dolls isn't so uncommon after all. And as for the video itself, I really don't think that a small child would be able to give us such a fake performance. But let me know what you think about this case in the comments.